welcome to a very festive final film of 2012. And what an amazing year it's been for us at Motor Talk. We've driven some of the greatest cars in the world. And that's where you come in because we want you to vote on Motor Talk's car of the year. We've shortlisted our options ever so slightly because there's so many to choose from. And since we all have so much time over the festive period, we want you to vote on Motor Talk's car of 2012. To kickstart our 2012 favourites list is our trip to the Rockingham racetrack where we got to test drive some of the most desirable cars on the market, one of which was the fearsome BMW M5. With a neck jerking V8 petrol engine that punches out 552 brake horsepower, the BMW M5 offers a surprisingly agile ride for such a powerhouse. As powerful as it is luxurious, the BMW M5 is a perfect example of what the German brand is capable of. This wasn't the only stunner we drove at Rockingham. This is the Porsche Panamera S Hybrid, but don't let the hybrid name tag put you off. The Panamera still manages to deliver eye-catching performance figures. But let's not forget how unique the exterior design of the Panamera is, with a beefed up back end and bulging headlights. In August, we headed to the lovely Welsh countryside, and waiting for us there was one of the fastest cars available in the UK, the Nissan GTR. The GTR represents a step up in the evolutionary stage of the Nissan Skyline range, offering more of its chiselled exterior and a much meatier powertrain. With nearly 500 brake horsepower at your fingertips, it's hard to resist the urge to put your foot down and see how fast it can really go. 195 miles an hour, if anyone's curious. Panamera wasn't the only Porsche we've been driving this year. We also got to take the 911 for a spin. Although it's become quite a popular car on our UK roads, the 911 still manages to turn heads and deliver a fun driving experience. With a stylish, snug exterior, the 911 echoes classic Porsche styling and helps remind us why Porsche has got such a first class reputation. This can't match the Nissan for performance, but the Morgan three wheeler will leave just as big of a smile on your face, if not bigger. Hand built in Britain, the Morgan is one of a kind, reminiscent of an old school sports car. It's hard to pick any other car that can make you feel as one with the road as the Morgan three-wheeler does. Although we did initially have a bit of trouble finding the ignition. Closer to home was our test drive of the critically acclaimed Range Rover Evoque. With over 100 awards, the Evoque is without doubt the best small SUV money can buy. Even though it offers a compact exterior and a relatively low price tag, it still looks and feels like a Range Rover, allowing the Evoque to sneak in and occupy a whole new part of the market. Attractive to look at, built in the northwest and not bad on the road, the Range Rover Evoque is certainly one of the cars that caught our eyes in 2012. As the Formula 1 season drew to a close and the defending champion Sebastian Vettel took his third title, we thought it would be appropriate to see what the Infinity FX Vettel edition was all about. I haven't heard so much about it, and we weren't disappointed. The long journey to drive this FX Vettel edition through the streets of Monaco was well worth our time. With noticeable engine and styling tweaks from Vettel himself, it was by far one of the most unique and premium cars we have ever driven reaching 0 to 60 in just 5.5 seconds and coming equipped with quirky features like a button that makes the exhaust growl. From supercars to SUVs to the Morgan three-wheeler, we want your vote on the Motor Talk car of 2012 in a comment below this video. And for now, all we can say is thank you for supporting our films throughout 2012, and we look forward to bringing you more content in the new year.